Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus again with another video review. This will be the fourth time I've tried recording this. The other times my computers have all my computers always turned off. So we're gonna give this a go. I got this earlier this week and I've been playing with it ever since to try to develop a liking for it. And I'll be honest, I really don't like them very much. As you can see, this is Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus. He is in a different mode than we're used to seeing in G1 and in R.I.D. We saw him as a car transport. This one, he is a heavily armored military vehicle of some sort. And by heavily armored and heavily weaponed, I suppose, what I mean is this front section here is... You're not going to be able to see, but if you lower this... You have these two little guys that will extend out, and the top extends the barrel. You can replace those back like so. Put that back in the front. These little guys fold out, creating Gatling guns, which you can't see very well. You got Gatling guns there. Also, this will rotate around, and you can swivel this in whichever way you want. You can position it like that. You can position it. It's got a good deal of ratchet joints on here, so you can position it in a couple different locations. You got that, which is super heavy duty. But also on the side here, if you lift this up, I'm going to slide that back a little so you can see it. If you lift this up, it extends and it'll extend the barrel. You got that on both sides, which creates a huge ass gigantic gun. And in this mode it really shows off the lights and sounds better by pushing this orange button, you get this. Nice lights and sounds and all that stuff. One thing that kind of disturbs me is I wish this could swivel if it was on a rotating thing. Um, that would be a lot neater, I think, but whatever, put that away. Ultra Magnus now, in animated, comes across as a very competent, very sure of himself leader. The box art and description of him shows, says that he is very knowledgeable in almost every fighting technique known to uh, exist, pretty much, in terms of Transformers and all that jazz. I'm going to try to keep this centered. We got some nice detail on here though, it looks like we got like a gas tank. Overall, I'd probably say this is my favorite mode. I, I just think this really looks kind of cool and it makes up for the, the crappy ass robot mode that I think is crappy ass. A lot of people like it, o almost everybody I know likes it, I personally do not, so here's my personal opinion of it. I think it could be a lot better, there's a lot of problems that are very glaring in my opinion. But Ultra Magnus as a character is spot on. I love the character in here. I'm really happy that they brought him in. And he's the leader of the Autobots and the leader of the Elite Guard. So Optimus Prime is not the be all end all. But to go ahead and transform him, we're going to start with the section, well, whatever. Go ahead and lift this straight up. This is the storage place for his Thor hammer. Go ahead and take that out, set that off to the side for now. Add that straight up like that. Grab hold of this front section and lift up, holding back. And you'll loosen that like so. And then when you do that, take these side wheels, fold those down to the side like so. And then you can rotate the leg. You got these little panels here on the side. Go ahead and fold that back. And you're creating his leg is what you're doing. Go ahead and do that on the other side. Just rotate that down. Then move that out of the way. And you're creating legs, as I said. Come around here to the back. Inside here, there are his feet. Just grab a little that little section. Fold that around. Fold that out. Now this little section here, now you notice that the wheels are on the outside and it's hollow on the inside. You have to separate this. It pegs in, so just separate it. And it's on like an accordion joint, so you need to just rotate it around to the inside. Lift this little 
these and we'll put that right back up and then it just kind of slots right into place nicely there. Take this little guy, put that all the way down. Do the same on this side. Separate it from the inside. Rotate it around. And now you have it on the outside. Lift this up. That'll peg in there nicely. And again, lower that. And we now have his feet. So we're going to angle up. You got this section up here. So just grab hold of this. Separate that. We'll first take these little guys. There's little tabs here on the side. Hold those down. Do that on both sides. Hold that down. Then you separate it. Off to the side. Then you want to rotate. You have these little shoulder things. Rotate that around. And then you'll hear the transformation sound when you push this in. That sound. A piece of been flying. Put that back on there as well. There we go. Rotate the arms around. Or extend the, extend the hands. Rotate the arms. Bend. Bend. So now we have them like this. Now, you're just about done. But, inside here, and this is really hard to see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Right in there is a joint. You need to bend and rotate. And this is where a lot of transformation sounds will happen. I really dislike this. This part really pisses me off. Because I feel like I'm going to break it every single time. you got to extend it out and all the way up to the top. If it was a little bit looser, it would be easier to do. There we go. So now you have them extended upward. Take this little guy here. you got that little flap. Pull that down. Put that down. Rotate that up. And there you have Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. If I can get him to... Now, a couple problems that I do have. First, let's talk about the articulation. The head will rotate from side to side. And that's all that will do. His arms will do a full 360 degree rotation. In and out. Bend at the elbow and they rotate at the bicep. There's no rotation at the wrist, which annoys me. Number one, his hand is huge. I hate how big his hands are. Stupid. Also, his arms. This is the biggest thing on this figure that really aggravates me and makes me not like him at all. As you can see, the arm is considerable length. Normal size. But, when you extend it outward, look how stubby his arms are. That's because the shoulder connector is back here, not here. This is where it should connect. It's connecting back here. So when you extend the arms, when you extend the arms up, his elbows are where his shoulders should be. They, his elbows should be like out here where his hands are. That's a huge flaw in my opinion. I mean, here's his head. His arms are back here. There's a huge gap difference that really aggravates me. When you just keep it like this, it's fine. It looks okay. But if you move his arms, then it becomes retarded. No articulation in the waist, unfortunately, but the legs do in and out. You get some good posability. Of course, the, the famous optobotomous leg stand. And, well, and you can't see it. Cause so, you can do that. This on here is very loose, but I can fix that. That's not a big problem. Of course, he can do his super mega armament thing. Lift this little guy up here. And I, I just think this is kind of corny. You can lift that up. This I'm not a big fan of, mostly because in the, in the show so far we've seen him use his thorax or th thor, thor hammer, which it will extend by folding this out, and if you lift this, it springs out. 
problem again. The slot right here, as you can see, that little gizmo pegs into a slot in the inside of his hand. Now, the problem with that is that's how he holds it. If it was longer, it would be okay, but it's not. Therefore, I think it sucks. I have to do it like this, because the hands, when you push them in, will have like a resistance here and you can fold them in a little bit more. I usually hold, put it down here and then just push that guy in. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but it allows you to hold the hammer like this. And I think that looks up considerably better, at least in my opinion. Um, just put all this crap back. I'm not a big fan of the heavy armor. I, I just, you know, we don't see him using it. So, I mean, we may see it, but either way. Um, lights and sounds, again, he does have them. If you push the oops, center button right here where my thumb is, this will light up, these light up, and his eyes light up. You can't really see his eyes lighting up. Which I think that's a stupid saying for him to say. But the problem that I have with these figures is you have to keep pushing it to get him to talk, but then he says different things. So it's like you have to do this. To do it, you go. And then you have to move your head, head move the hand manually. I mean, I, I just think that's kind of stupid. But all the leaders have that type of thing. I don't have bulkhead, but to be honest, I cannot give this a very high mark. I cannot really recommend this over Megatron, to be honest. I mean, Megatron's the other leader class I have, and I prefer Megatron over this. If you can only get one, I would have preferred to get Megatron, not this guy. He, he looks cool. He's a different mold, mold than Ultra Magnus, but I think they could have done a lot better, especially with the arms. The arms kind of are gay, in my opinion. Um, I just think that's a huge glaring problem, and nobody's showing that, and that's one thing. Uh, these little things here kind of aggravate me. They're pointless. Um, they just look like a skirt. I'm wearing a skirt, but, well, to transform him back, go ahead and take his little Thor hammer, close it, and fold that back. Like so, set that off to the side. Come on here to the back. Extend this. Extend these straight out. Like so. And you gotta come around here again and go up. There you can see the joint inside there where it's up. You have to fold it out. It's a lot of folding to get it to where it's supposed to be. I don't like it. and you have to get it all the way down. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's kind of down. Again. There we go. I shouldn't have to strain that much to do that. Then, right here, release these clips from the back. You get the transformation sound. Roll that around. Do that on that side as well. So now you have him with his arms up. Make sure you push his hands. You can't see me doing it, but make sure you push his hands all the way in, closing his fists. Bend down at the elbow. Like so. Rotate. And then just hold that up. Like so. And then you can peg those together. Nice and tight. Take that. Then on the back here, you have this little flap. Close that. There's a little tiny, little tiny groove right in there that will this will close into, helping that secure it. Just take that, pull that up. Just get that out of the way. Come down to the legs. Again, just lift this side piece. Move this out so you have that straight up and down. Now you're going to move the wheels from the inside of the leg to the outside. So we can loosen. Plug that in. Take the foot in here. 
fold the clip back right up. So, do the same for the other side. Fold that out. And release it. Accordion this out. Like so. Take the foot, which you can't see. There you go. Tuck it under. And there you go. Then all you have to do is rotate these up and around. Make sure these little his little skirt things tucked all the way in. Just like so. Come around here, these will peg together. Nicely. Sort of. Again, push this little skirt thing in. Rotate the leg around. Now inside here, there's a little peg that you need to just line that up, push that together. Come around here again and just like so. Take this little flap, pull that out, put that there. Do it on the other side as well. Now, one other problem is these are. It's kind of the camera's kind of skipping a little bit. Sorry, guys. Out the bottom is old school camera stuff. You can see it here, where that's the knee joint. This, when you fold that, bends on an angle. So it doesn't completely cover that. That kind of bugs me. Pull that back. The hammer, as you can see, there's a um, oval shape and a thing here. That matches kind of with how this is shaped. So you just put that right in there. And it just kind of more more or less just sits in there. It doesn't really. I mean, there's tabs in there, but they don't really you don't really feel them grabbing. So there's that. I'm gonna anchor down. Okay. Then take this whole assembly, rotate that back like so. Make sure that those are tucked in nice. Take these little guys. These are supposed to go up, people. One thing that I think is cool is it's round and it fits right in here, so he's got tail lights. Which is kind of cool. But, again, like I said, this is my favorite mode. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the robot mode. It looks okay if you just let it sit there, but playability, I think it sucks because the arms are retarded. Other than that, guys, I said I was going to do the review, and here it is. Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus. Like I said, I look at three specific things. Alternate mode, robot mode, and transformation. The alternate mode is nice. I like this. Final thoughts on it, A+. I really like this. Transformation sucks, especially when you're trying to get the shoulder pads to come down, so I'm not a big fan of that. The legs, the way the legs transform, kind of make up for it, so that's kind of iffy for me. It's just, that's really tight, and you've, I've seen some people that have problems with the sound, so the sound issue might bother you. Robot mode, I think, is terrible, though. I really don't like it, especially with the arms. It's really not cool how they screwed up the design there, but overall, though, pick them up if you have the means and if you're a completist, but otherwise, I would pass on this guy. Not my favorite in the line. Um, not the worst. I, I mean, you can't get them, but like I said, if you're only going to get one leader class, I would get Megatron and not get this guy. Megatron is just overall a rounded out better player. So until next time, guys, this is Optobotomus. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so this is the review. It goes like this. Here he is. He's got all these windows here in the front, and um, he's the thing in the back, and.